These couples are so in love, they're tying the knot at their local council in Abuja. The women are all adults in their 20s and 30s. But according to a section of Nigeria's constitution, any female that is married is considered by law an adult. Because there's no minimum age of marriage in Nigeria, this means a 12-year-old girl who is married is deemed to be an adult. At this debate in the National Assembly, senators were given the chance to remove that particular section of the Constitution, but they voted against, creating controversy. 56-year-old Senator Sani Yarima spearheaded the campaign to make sure the section was not removed. In 2010, he married a 13-year-old girl. By Islamic law, any woman that is married, she's of age. So if you now say she's not of age, then it means that you are going against Islamic law. Any woman that is married is of age. But human rights organizations say the decision not to delete the section of the Nigerian constitution that says any married female is an adult will lead to child abuse. They say the constitution is effectively promoting marriage to underage girls. I think it's totally unacceptable. I think, I think it's something that we should all condemn. And I think it's something that the Nigerian government should stand up to. And millions of Nigerians agree. They've taken to Twitter using the hashtag child not bride to campaign against their senators. They've accused them of being paedophiles and child abusers and say because Nigeria is a secular state, religious teachings about the minimum age of marriage are irrelevant. Obviously we cannot feel happy about it. We feel very distressed because we think that there is a misconception of what we did. Other parts of Nigeria's constitution clearly define an adult as someone who is 18 years old and above, like these newlyweds. And so senators say they'll review their decision not to delete the controversial section. But until they do, under Nigerian law, a married female, no matter how young, will continue to be considered an adult. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.